Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I take a regular plain old band t-shirt and I'm going to show you how I like to cut them to end up looking like this. Um, a lot of you have requested this video so I figured I might as well go ahead and show you how I do it. I like it to look really ratty and you know kind of punk looking so if you want to know how I did this just keep watching and I will show you how. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get all your materials. You're going to need some good sharp scissors and a optional eyeliner pen, sharpie pen, whatever you want to do to help you kind of draw out. So first lay your band t-shirt out flat to make sure that it's nice and you know even. And of course you have your scissors and then you have your optional little pen. I'm going to be using some eyeliner just to help me draw. If you are young and you're going to be using scissors, make sure you ask for a parent's help. So the first step is to prepare to cut the neckline. And this part is usually what I like to do first. And it can be kind of tricky, but since I've been doing this for so long with all my shirts, I've got it pretty down. But what I do is I like to use my hands to make kind of like a V shape. And I like to go down um, pretty far on my band t-shirts because I don't like the feeling of t-shirts up against my neck. So what I do is I just use my hands to make a triangle and then I kind of draw a little reference point. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is simply just cut the neckline. Just follow the line that you made and cut all the way down to the little point which as you can see was right in the middle of the end in Avenged. And make sure you're cutting the neckline only on the front side of the t-shirt. Don't cut the neckline on both sides. I hope that made sense. You don't want to do that. Just cut the neckline in the front. And then after you do that, just get rid of the excess and you can move on to step two, which is cutting the sleeves and the sides of the t-shirt. Now you can use your little pen to help draw a line, but since I've been doing this for so long, I can you can do it freehand if you feel comfortable with it. I'm just going to do it freehand. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting down the shirt to make kind of like a tank top shape. I'm cutting down the shirt around the sleeve like so, and then I'm going to go down the shirt to cut the sides of it. And you're going to do this on both sides of the shirt. So you want it to be like that. I hope I don't know. You'll see what I mean. And then just do the exact same thing on the other side. Step three is to turn the shirt on its side and cut the slits on each side of the shirt to prepare the knots. So right now, if you were to wear this shirt, there would be no sides to it. So we're not exactly quite done yet. What you're going to want to do next is take your scissors and cut little slits into the shirt, making two on each side or one on each side. So I don't know. Am I making any sense here? I hope this is easy to follow, but just kind of cut the slits like so on the side of the shirt and then, you know, continue going up. So as you can see, I'm just creating little slits in the shirt to create that kind of like stringy look. And then once you get to the top, just make smaller ones if you know what I mean. And then do count the number of slits that you made on the one side and repeat it on the other side. So you have an even amount of slits on each side of the shirt. Then with the slits that you made, make sure you tie them into knots to hold the shirt together. This part is where it takes a little bit longer because you do have to tie knots. Um, if you are doing this and you want it to fit, you know, loosely, I like my clothes to be like super tight. But if you want to do this, buy a band t-shirt that's a couple sizes too big for you. That way when you tie them, it'll fit perfectly. So basically you're just going to want to tie the knots to hold the shirt together and then as you're doing that kind of stretch it out to make sure that you know it doesn't get all bundled up and you know you can see what you're doing. So just kind of stretch it out as you're tying. I'm terrible at explaining things. I honestly feel like you guys don't even know what I'm saying. I hope this is easy to follow. I'm sorry my words are just all over the place today. Basically just continue to tie knots all the way up the side of the shirt until you've reached the last one. After you do that, make sure all the knots that you made are tied and then stretch out the shirt. 
Basically what I mean by this is just put your hands inside the shirt and just kind of move your hands around. Make sure you're stretching out the shirt really good so the knots are secured and the shirt will, you know, slide on easily. And for those wondering, yes, when you do wash the shirt, the knots do stay intact, I promise. As long as you tie them right and get it all nice and good, you'll be good. So this is what the shirt basically looks like. Finally, just try it on and you're finished. And this is the final product. Really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was easy to follow. It's just a perfect way to use your old band t-shirts and turn them into something kind of grungy, ratted up, torn up, and cool looking. It's just kind of a fun little project to do when you're bored and you have a bunch of big old band t-shirts. As you can see, I've done it quite a few times with all my t-shirts. I do love Avenged Sevenfold in case you can't already tell. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you very soon for my next one. Bye guys!